Our RV tire covers are long since worn out, so it's past time to replace them. They don't make this particular model anymore, but we found new RV tire covers that we like even better. Tires typically age out before they wear out on an RV, which means there's generally lots of tread left when it's time to replace them due to age. And because of that, we want to protect them as much as possible from the sun's damaging UV rays. The best way to do that is to cover them. If we leave them uncovered all the time, they're going to age out sooner because the sun's going to crack the rubber, and these are not inexpensive tires. Big rig tires like this can cost up to $1,000, but even on a smaller rig, there's no reason to have your tires have to be replaced sooner than necessary. Now these are particularly distinctive tire covers, and every time they show up in one of our videos, people ask about them. Where did we get them? How do they get a set for themselves? Well, unfortunately, they stopped making these a long time ago, not that long after we bought them, and they simply aren't available anymore. So the big question that comes up is, would we replace them with the same thing even if they were available or would we choose something else? So there are some pros and some cons to these tire covers. The pros are they absolutely do look cool. There's no doubt they give a nice look that fits flush with the outside of the RV. The other advantage these have is they don't require reaching behind the tire to put a cord on like most covers do. There are also some downsides to these particular RV tire covers. One is they require a plastic track to be permanently installed up in the wheel well to allow them to be put in place. Those tracks are starting to wear out and crack, and even if the tire covers themselves were in great shape, the tracks need to be replaced and they're not available anymore. Another downside is that because they fit so perfectly in the wheel wells, regardless of whether you have a tag axle set up like this or a single axle like we have up front, each one has to be perfectly custom made for your year, make, and model of RV, which probably is the reason they don't make them anymore. They most likely had to keep an incredible inventory just to meet even the most popular brands on the market. Another downside is the height. Now, while they're height adjustable, it's very minimal. You can only set them to a range of about six inches or so, up or down. And that means that if you're very high up in the air, the lower part of the tire may still be exposed to the sun. Now, it's not a lot, it's just the bottom, but it would be nice if we could cover the entire tire no matter what height our jacks were at. Another downside to these is they were the most expensive tire covers that we had ever seen when we bought them. We splurged on them and knew we'd be keeping them a long time, but if we wanted to replace them now, might there be something else out there that is equal or better in quality and functionality, but costs less? The other downside is that there's a steel rod that goes through the bottom to weight it and hold it in place. And that's just one extra thing to store on board, especially when you have a tag axle because the rod is very long. Now this track installation and the rod lead to what I think was the biggest downside to these and the reason we probably wouldn't choose to buy these again, even if they were available. And that is they take a little bit extra time to put on and take off each time we set up camp. And that's not a lot of extra time. However, a decision comes when you get to a campsite and you're staying for say a day or two versus a week or two. You have to decide just how set up you're going to get. Just like with our solar panels, if we're in a spot for two nights, we might not bother climbing up on the roof if we have manual prop rods for our solar panels. When we had that set up and we had to put them up by hand and climb on the roof, it was pretty unusual for us to go up there and put them up for just one or two nights stay. The same thing is true with the tire covers. If we're staying for just a day or two, there's enough involved that we sometimes don't bother when we really should. It just takes a little bit longer than we would like to put them on and take them off. Now, it may not seem like a big deal to leave the tires uncovered for a day or two, but it's a cumulative thing. Every day that you have your tires sitting in direct sunshine, you're aging them unnecessarily. The best thing you can do for the tires is to always keep them covered when you're parked, even if it's only for a day or two. So for us, from a practical standpoint, it just makes it easier if tire covers go on 
and come off and stow quickly and easily. The longer it takes to set up and tear down, the less likely we are to do it. We spent a lot of time looking around for new tire covers when one of our viewers told us about the ones they had that they love, snap ring tire savers. We'd never heard of them before, and we thought all the tire covers required a bungee cord around the back, but they've done something very clever here with these that I don't think anyone else has ever done because they have the patent on it. And that is that the outer part of this has a metal ring that goes around the tire. I guess that's where the name snap ring comes from. And that holds the cover onto the tire without a bungee cord. And the way it works is so simple. You simply take it, spread the metal ring, reach around the sides of the tire, not behind it, and just put it into place. Snug it down and you're all done. And because it's not attached to the bodywork, there's no such thing as having it be too high off the ground if you're jacked up really high. It just fits the tire and they'll stay there. They won't fly off in the wind, they won't go anywhere, and they come off just as easily. Now, they're a little wrinkly when they first go on, like lots of tire covers, but the sun relaxes that after they've been on for just a little bit. They're so fast taking them on and off that we use them on very short stays. These are available in seven sizes, so they'll fit anything from a travel trailer up to a big diesel pusher like ours, and they're sold in pairs. So in our case, with a tag axle rig, we bought three pairs of them, and that covers everything. Not only are these easier to take on and off than our old covers, but they're much less expensive. Besides being available in black, obviously, you can also get them in white. We'll put details and links down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment on how you can get snap ring tire savers for your RV too. We know you'll love them as much as we do. As always, safe travels and thanks for watching.